On Oahu, preparations are already underway with emergency shelters opening, and Honolulu's Department of Emergency Management activated its emergency operating center. Joining us this morning is Hiro Toya, director of Honolulu's Department of Emergency Management. Good morning, Hiro. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, Ross. Thanks for having me. Now, first off, any updates from overnight into this morning on power outages, flooding, road closures, or severe damage? Yeah, Ross, um, as you mentioned, uh, we kept our emergency operations center open overnight for Oahu. Um, the story's been a little bit different for Oahu than uh, Maui and uh, Big Island so far. Um, we've definitely had some uh, reports of uh, downed trees, um, power lines down, uh, some power outage on the windward side, but right now the power outage is in pockets. So the um, story so far has been mostly for, for wind for Oahu. Um, but uh, of course, um, the, uh, the wind advisory continues to be effective until tonight. And then the flood watch continues to be in effect. So we're hoping for the best, but uh, preparing for the worst. And then we also have this uh, very high tide going on right now. So um, during the early morning hours, you know, even without the rain, we could see some nuisance flooding. So that could be problematic for us later on down the road, uh, possibly tomorrow morning if it's raining hard and we're experiencing these really high tides. Now, Hito, we've had issues with landslides on the Pali, Lique Lique in years past, as well as streams overflowing to flooded roadways. What areas of concern are you focusing on? So, Ross, um, right now we're actually concerned about um, the, the flooding uh, potentially occurring anywhere on the island. So um, with this pattern, it's really hard to predict where the rain's going to hit us. Um, so really the big concern is uh, communities becoming isolated and being, becoming inaccessible. And so what we've done uh, out of abundance of caution yesterday was to open up shelters in some strategic locations. Um, it does take time for us to ramp up our resources to take such actions. And also if uh, transportation uh, networks are being challenged, then uh, it's, it's hard for us to get to the, uh, some of these communities. So um, I think just really for, for the whole community, for the whole island of Oahu, and we just really want everybody to exercise caution throughout the day today and tomorrow. Now, right now, we're not seeing the heavy rain as we speak, but we all know in a heartbeat that could change. Any discussions on closing schools on Oahu or workers staying home in the coming days? Yeah, Ross, um, so far what we've been discussing, um, you know, there's definitely that potential for the catastrophic level flooding uh, for, uh, for Oahu as well. Um, but uh, we're continuing to monitor the situation closely. We have discussed it, but uh, right now we're asking folks to just curtail non-essential activities. If you don't need to be out on the roads, um, please uh, stay home, stay, uh, stay in a safe place. Um, and also, you know, I think throughout the pandemic, a lot of folks have learned to do uh, telecommuting and working remotely. So for those that can work remotely, we're asking them to do that at, at this time. And what's your final message to viewers and especially Oahu residents? Yeah, you know, um, we've all had a really uh, tough couple of years and this year has been um, uh, really tough for many of us. So um, we just wanna make sure everybody gets through this holiday season safely. Um, really, please don't take any unnecessary risks out there. Um, if uh, there's flooding occurring, um, don't try to cross those roads. Um, and be, be as prepared as you can. Um, so ma main thing is paying attention to your surrounding and paying attention to local news and official sources. Um, for more information, uh, folks can go to honolulu.gov uh, slash DEM or check out the, um, the DLNR's flood hazard assessment tool. So if you Google that, uh, DLNR's flood hazard assessment tool, you can find out a little bit more about your risk in your community. All right, and we'll have all that information on our website at kh12.com. Hiro Toya, Director of the Department of Emergency Management, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Appreciate it because I know you're a busy guy right now. Thank you.